List method. First method is append. So in Python, you can add values to the end of the list using the append method. For example, you have an ordered list containing two elements. If you print the list on the user screen, the two elements will be printed on the user screen. If you want to add an element at the end of this list, you can give the list name dot append and the element which is to be added. So the third element is added to the list. When we print the list again, third element will be displayed on the user screen. Second method, count. The dot count method in Python list method searches a list for whatever search term is received as an argument and then returns the number of matching entries found. For example, backpack is a list. It contains pencil, pen, notebook, textbook, pen, highlighter, pen. So pen is repeated three times inside the list. Now we are calling the count method backpack dot count and we are passing it as an argument pen. Count the number of occurrence of pen in the list backpack. So when we print numpen variable, it will show the output three because pen was available three times in the list backpack. Len, it is a built-in method. The Python len function can be used to determine the number of items found in the list. It accepts as an argument. So backpack is a list containing elements, pencil, pen, notebook, textbook, pen, highlighter, pen. The number of elements are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when we call the length method, pass the list as an argument and print it, it will give output as seven dot sort method. The dot sort Python list method which sort the content of whatever list is called on Numerical list will be sorted in ascending order and the list of string will be sorted in alphabetical order. It modifies the original list and has no written value. So you have example list with 4, 2, 1, 3. When you call example list dot sort, it will sort the list. But the element of the list will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and we print when we print the example list on the user screen, we get the output of the list as one, two, three, four.